You've heard of them and you've probably even seen them out in the streets. This is an electric bike which is the hottest new trend in mobile vehicles. I am here at Recon Power Bikes headquarters. I'm gonna take you on the inside, take a tour, learn about the products, and I'm gonna test drive them for the first time ever. You ready? Let's do it. Joining me now is Chris Warren, the operations manager. Hi, Chris. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. Good. We're happy to have you. Listen, I think that this place is so fascinating and what you all are doing is so cool. And the fact that it's based out of Fort Wayne, founded here mm -hmm. and globally distributed is very cool. So I want to learn more about Recon. So can you give us a little background? Sure. Um, so Recon started about seven years ago um, through the design phase, you know, getting ideas, getting traction, and then from there, we are now a, like you said, a globally, um, shipped globally. Yeah. So we do a couple of different main things, um, consumer bikes as well as law enforcement bikes are our two big, uh, two big avenues. And then recently, like you see behind us, is our global licensing deal with General Motors, which has really propelled us up in the industry. Yes, that's really exciting. And really, the electric movement is happening, right? We're Absolutely. seeing it in vehicles and now with bikes that really allow for people to have an ease um, with their travel and be creative with it and not be exhausted by it. <laughs> so someone like me who has asthma, I think that this is a really cool alternative to not being able to do some sports sometimes, you know? So as you said, you hit on a couple of different areas. So the consumer aspect, people at home can buy these for different reasons. So can you share how people use them? Sure, yeah. So people use them uh, if they're camping at campsites, um, on the beach sometimes, uh, going through mountain trails. Uh, there's a lot of different avenues. People sometimes pull equipment like trailers and things if they're fishing, for example. Mm -hmm. Really the opportunities for the consumer side are endless. Yes, okay, and they can do local commute yes. to get to work quicker. Mm -hmm. If there's heavy traffic, especially in big cities, that's amazing. And then also, there's different ways that they can pull things around. So I see that you have wagons and you have attachments and stuff like that, which is really cool. And we'll get on get into that more later. But you mentioned the hunting and the fishing sure. aspect to it. So we're standing right here in front of this bike. So let's go ahead and talk about this and some of the features that we see. Sure. So we'll start with the bike. Um, this is our Ranger. It's our flagship model. Mm -hmm. Like you said, hunting it's a camo dip bike it's a thousand watt mid-driven bike so it's our flagship top of the line bike mm -hmm. um, as you see you're pulling um, a trailer uh, single wheel trailer there's a couple different options mm -hmm. but this is one that we have here today and just to show that it can be used for hunting right. we are showing a um, a mock-up of a deer in the back deer, of it as well. okay <laughs> yeah that caught my attention when i first walked in i was like okay <laughs> and also as well like it it does have side um you know, different bags and mm -hmm. different accessories you can outfit it with just to pull more gear and more uh, more utility things with you. Yes, that's so awesome. And really the concept behind the EV bike or EV bike or e-bike, yeah, EB, we'll just call it EB. The concept is really that people have an option. If they do want to pedal, they can, but this gives an assist, right? Yes. So kind of break down that technology of how that works. Sure, so you hit it. Exactly right. There's three ways to ride the bike. You can ride with no motor assist at all. Mm -hmm. You can ride with what's called pedal assist, PAS. Um, there's five levels. So as you are pedaling, the motor is increasing, in, with increasing levels is giving you motor assist. Okay. And the last, more fun way arguably, is with no pedaling at all and using just a thumb throttle. Okay, and that's just cruising. So that means that the bike will propel without you having to actually yes. pedal. Okay. That's really cool. And with different activities that people do outside, right? This can kind of handle any texture of ground. So from uh, mountain climbing, in a sense, um, if you're out um, fishing, if you're out hunting, but also on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so share with me just um, a couple of ways that people use this in a unique way that you have seen. Oh, I'd say the most unique way is, is beaches, like mm -hmm. you said. Um, remote camping just to take firewood from one place to another okay, yeah. um, on very small trails where let's say an ATV can't go. You have mm -hmm. to get something even smaller to be able to fit in there. So mm -hmm. using our bikes with a trailer, firewood's one that I can think of off the top of my head. 
And then um, oftentimes, if you're in a crowded fishing spot, sometimes the best spot is a mile down the road. Mm -hmm. So you can put your, your poles in the back and take it wherever you need to go to get away from the crowd. Okay, and with these attachments, so over here with this one is a really cool one that you said people can use for the beach as well. You can put your coolers, you can put your beach towels, uh, maybe not your kid. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, um, no. Yeah. <laughs> but this one, like you said, it. Um, this is a very uh, utilitarian trailer, so mm -hmm. you can actually fold it completely flat. So it opens oh, up wow. the opportunity to put a lot more things on it than just right. this footprint right here. That's very nice, very nice. And then of course, with this being an electric device, you have to charge it, of course. Absolutely. So how does the charging work on it? So it's very simple. So you can charge the battery while it's in the bike. Okay. Um, so if it's in your garage, for example, or you can take the battery out of the bike. Oh, it has a little lock on it, okay. And you can take it, let's say, into your office or into your shop or inside your RV, for example, mm -hmm. and charge it wherever you need to. That's so cool. And I noticed that there's a lock on it, so you can make sure that no one can take exactly. it. <laughs> which you guys thought of everything with creating this device. I can't believe it's just been six to seven years mm -hmm. um, because this product is just so innovative. I mean, you guys have grown significantly sure. over that amount of time. It became what the top distributor for EVs? For law enforcement, Electric absolutely. Okay, for law enforcement. That's incredible. Okay, so we talked about the battery and the sins. You can put it back on there, yeah. So we talked about the battery and how it can easily be removed and put back on there, look at that. But then there's also a solar charge panel right here. So tell me how this works. So for instance, you know, we talked about the hunting and the camping and the remote opportunities that yes. you, know, you can ride it anywhere. So if you are remote, there's no way to charge it unless you have a generator, for example, mm -hmm. or you have a solar panel. So we've developed mm -hmm. um, solar panels that you can basically take with you wherever you need to recharge your battery. So mm -hmm. a lot of people often buy two batteries and they'll always have one charging on a solar panel and when they get back for the night or from whatever activity they were doing, they always have one that was fully charged so they can swap them out. Okay, that's incredible. Yeah, so this, I mean, this type of technology is just so innovative and I know that you all have grown significantly over the last seven years and one of your major accomplishments that happened last year was your partnership with General Motors. Yes. Which is so cool. So you guys created this Hummer EV um, bike back here and it's special licensing through GMC, correct? Correct. Okay, and so share with me about this product and kind of let me know how, um, what, you know, what people can expect and how they can access it. Sure, so it, like you said, we have a global licensing deal with General Motors mm -hmm. to allow us to use the Hummer name. Um, it came about, General Motors wanted a, a bike to complement the GMC Hummer, which mm -hmm. is when you think about it, an off-road vehicle, it's big, it's bad, it's, and, one, and most importantly, it's 100% electric. So yes. the idea was to, with their partnership, create a, a bike that fit right in with the brand. So mm -hmm. we have here an all-wheel drive electric bike. Wow. So meaning you can select front-wheel drive only, rear-wheel drive, mm -hmm. or use them both together and ride it in all-wheel drive. Nice. And um, any person can actually access this on our website, mm -hmm. um, reconpowerbikes.com, or if their local GMC dealer has them in stock, they can go there and pick one up as well. Okay. And if they don't, make sure that you ask them about it. So <laughs> right. <can> buy it <laughs> I love it. Of course, the beautiful white Hummer color. And yeah, it kind of has everything. So speaking of, you guys have such um, a strong consumer base when it comes to police. Um, security, military, um, federal agencies, because you guys provide these bikes that can allow for them to get to emergencies. Yes. Which is so cool. So share with me a little bit more about that. So, yes. So our big motto for law enforcement is safer, further, faster. Mm. So you, you can use a thumb throttle, for instance, and arrive to a call or on scene without um, being fatigued. Mm -hmm. um, you can go further on a bike patrol than you would on a standard bike, again, without being fatigued. Mm -hmm. And it's safer because it's actually a heavier bike and it reduces the amount of pinch flats you can have and over the front handlebar collisions or over the front handlebar crashes that normal bikes experience. Yes, and that's really amazing that you can travel at that faster pace. And I know that you have police vehicles here and also for fire and EMS. Yes. So how do these really work and help them with their job? Sure, so like we touched on before, you know, you can uh, patrol faster, further, safer. Mm -hmm. um, 
especially in the, you know Florida, for example, where it's very hot, you know, officer fatigue is a big deal. Yes. So in those southern states, that's a huge plus. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also got a cool factor to it too. Yeah. But for fire and EMS, you know, that's one that's a little bit different than police. You're not actively patrolling. So mm -hmm. that's one where you might be on call at a, a large event, like a fireworks show or a parade or a football game where mm -hmm. you're on call to uh, give aid if someone goes down with a, an injury, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, and if you're at a festival and there's so many people around, you really can't drive a car in the middle of the crowd. Yeah, a bike is much more maneuverable. Yes, or if you're stranded somewhere, if you're out hunting or mountain climbing, you have a really bad accident, there's a stretcher here that really allows for someone to be transported. Yes. Yeah, that's really cool. And something else is that you guys really have grown in a way of getting into all of the security um, facilities in the sense of um, you work with the FBI, which mm -hmm. is so cool. You provide for so many police departments, um, college campuses, and just anyone who needs this type of motor vehicle around. I was like, what did, what did they do before? <laughs> just get exhausted, just traveling. So now you all have that ability. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. Yeah, it's so a very cool. niche market. Yeah, very cool. And one other thing I have to tell you is that on the police bike, they have a little siren. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> and then this here reads um, license plates and they have the bag, so it really is fully equipped. And don't forget about the lights, too. Oh. So you can. Oh, look at that. Turn the lights Official. on. Official. Official, but this purchase is for police officers only. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so I'm so excited to be able to try out and ride and test out some of these vehicles. So we're gonna do a joy rides. All right guys, stay tuned.